To send email in Python, we'll be using uh, SendGrid. So let's go over how to set up a free account for SendGrid. Um, essentially, this is a trial account for a first month where you have you know, thousands of emails where you can send. But after that first month, it kicks into a, a nice free account tier that lets you do, I believe, uh, 100 emails a day. So if you ever want to use this for testing or eventually if you want to upgrade your account, you can do so, but SendGrid is really easy to use from Python, uh, and it will help us send uh, phishing emails. So let's go ahead and uh, sign up for an account. I'm going to open up Chrome, and I'm going to go to SendGrid.com. Let that load up. Now up in the uh, right-hand corner, you'll see Start for Free. If you already have an account, great, use it. Um, but we'll hit start for free. And uh, we will type in some info. So I have not signed up for this yet with my TriC account. So I'll do it for the first time here. NBC, TriC, password. And my kind of placeholder Gmail account that I use for stuff. Not a robot. Oh, good. Bus, bus, bus. That's a van. Okay. Accept the terms. Create the account. And then you type in a little information here. See if it yells about the fake phone number. Hmm, account has been created. So we wait. Now it's going to say that you have to confirm your email address. So go back to your email that you used and confirm the account. I'm going to go do that right now. You're going to get an email that looks like this. So go ahead and hit confirm email address. And then once it's confirmed, it'll say, okay, your email address was confirmed. So I'm going to go back to my VM because I'm doing this off of my desktop and I'm going to refresh the page. And now I flip back to my VM and you'll notice that request confirmation message has gone away. All right, now you're going to want to take some notes on your API keys. So if we scroll down and uh, on the left hand side, right above this reputation bar, uh, we go to settings. You're going to see a bunch of information and one of it is API keys. So go ahead and click that, and then up at the top, uh, you'll see you've gone to the API keys section. Up at the top, you're going to see create API key. So when you click that button, you're going to see some information about uh, creating an API key. Now I'm going to create a test key that I'm going to delete, because one of the important uh, pieces of information about um, this week's lesson is that when you check in your code and when you're conveying this information to other users and as I'm doing on the video do not ever display an API key to another person this is super secret information that you need to run your application if someone else needs to use SendGrid they should have to enter their API key and not use yours especially uh, over time with certain API's that you're going to use when they cost money per call or there's a rate limit. You want to make sure your API keys belong to you. So considering that we're just testing things out, we're going to create a full access API key. 
Uh, I'm going to call it test key. Uh, MDC try C1. Give it full access and then hit create and view. Now you're going to see this API key. Um, I am going to delete this. Um, so you're seeing it on the video, but it no longer exists. So make sure you copy the key. If you just click it, um, it should copy. Otherwise, select it and then paste it somewhere safe because we're going to be using this. When you're done, go ahead and, and you've saved it. You've printed it off, done whatever you needed to do. Hit done. And now it should show up in your list of API keys. All right, so here's my API key ID. Also, uh, take um, a note of this key ID. So you're going to need your API key, which you got, and this key ID. So copy this and save it somewhere. Um, now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete this key because we're not actually going to use that ever again. So that's gone. What you just saw is gone. Don't delete it yourself. Um, but that's essentially how to create the key. Once you've done that, now we can dive into sending some emails in Python with SendGrid.